Hi, I'm going to be talking about what it means to hold space. Or when we say holding space. In, we work with clients and uh, with a client we hold space by um, actually just pr providing a place where um, they can experience whatever their experience without judgment, without having to feel like they have to fix or control or stop what they're feeling uh, to make somebody else feel comfortable. Uh, so that's what I, what it means to me to hold space for somebody. We do it in life as well. Although I notice for myself a lot of times, um, I've been practicing this a lot so to develop an art in it because there's an art in listening. And um, so holding a space is being able to uh, embrace silent spaces. So if there's silent space where somebody's maybe searching for a word that they're trying to come up with, um, to be able to let them search for it rather than trying to like come up with all these words and finish their sentences. Um, we all know what it feels like to have somebody like try to finish our sentences and it doesn't feel good. So um, to hold space, I think about um, allowing that person to either search for and find their own word. Um, it's okay to help in some uh, aspects, but that practice of being able to um, just be with somebody as they're searching and finding their words is holding space. Um, um, for a child, let's say a child, an adult asks, asks uh, their friend's child a question and that child doesn't want to answer or they you know, go to the shy mode. Um, instead of the parent answering the question for the child to be able to honor that awkward maybe feeling that's there um, to say, you know, to support that child as to say, you know what, I'm sure that they'll come up with an answer or talk to you about it when they feel comfortable. You know, so it's honoring what's there rather than trying to make somebody feel responsible for others' feelings or have to react or respond in a certain way. Um, we create silent spaces. Um, I think of that when we hold a space for someone, it can happen in the kitchen. It can happen doing a pro an art project. It can happen when we're doing a project in the garage. If you're a, um, in, in working with autos and you're with somebody or you're with a, a, a teenager um, do working on a project, those things, when you're working on something together, it also, ha it's like a garden. If it's fertile and it feels nourishing, then those seeds conversations will grow out of that. So um, kitchens, as we're making um, uh, meals together, that's something that happens as well, whether it's with a child or a friend or a spouse, um, allowing those moments to be there. Uh, when you're driving in the, in the car and going on a trip together, uh, of course, arguments can happen as well, and that's okay to be able to hold the space for an argument to, in, to happen, to have that conversation back and forth, or to agree, to disagree. Um, that's also a holding space. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, just about really being able to receive the present moment, what's happening in the moment, and without trying to fix or control, um, that's important. Um, and sometimes instead of, uh, you know, somebody's talking about their day and how bad it was or the, how bad traffic was, and I'm to say, well, you should have heard what happened to me. You know, that's okay too. But, you know, it's like being able to be with somebody and the most important thing is just to acknowledge, wow, that must have been really frustrating or I hate when that happens or um, uh, just to ask questions. Asking questions is something that's great as well. So anyway, holding space, it happens in a session when we're working with people. It happens in family when difficult conversations come up or when emotions come up just to be able to hold the space. And I love the word behold. Behold is just like being able to, you can behold somebody as like your, you know, uh, your daughter or son is even, you know, dressed up and oh my gosh, you realize how, you know, how they look like they're adults, young adults, or they're changed, you know, and you just actually see it and you are present with it. So um, beholding each other is really important in creating space. So that's what I wanted to share.
So if you have any comments or want to share what you, how you feel about holding space or ways that you, um, what you do when those sacred spaces or how you create it, that would be awesome to share because we all get better as we share with each other. So infinite love and gratitude. If you need help with anything or uh, sprucing up your, uh, your lifeline skills or your skills as a practitioner or just as a person in general, just I know I'm available for sessions, um, coaching or tutoring, and I would love to work with you. So infinite love and gratitude. Have a beautiful day. My name is Cindy Perloff, 360-951-6123, cindyperloff at gmail.com. Take care.